Lynch, thanks. Located appropriately for his career win total at 347 Don Shula Drive. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami, Florida. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Washington Redskins. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. The pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. You could tell he was searching for a hole, trying to find a running lane. There just was none to be found. Yeah, that's because the big guys in the middle just clogging everything up. Might want to think about stretching the line splits out a little bit, make those guys cover a little bit more ground. Maybe a fight. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Raekwon McMillan in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Oh, pressure comes, and the Dolphins block it. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. In for the score, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice, fast start. Get out after them and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave and that gives you a little added pep. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Washington Redskins making their way back out, and we touched on it earlier, but Jay Gruden no longer the head coach, relieved of his duties on Monday after going 35-49 and one in six seasons. Interestingly, Bill Callahan will replace him as the interim, and he also replaced his brother John Gruden in Oakland back in 2002. But this is a franchise really struggling, 1-11 since the Alex Smith injury last year, trying to find wins anywhere they can. Maybe they can do so next at Miami, also a winless team. It is on the road, though, and then they'll come back home to host San Francisco. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Coming to you, coming to you. They run it here with Thompson. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. And down he goes. Keenum is sacked. Christian Wilkins credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. 
but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put them on the ground. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. First down, Redskins. From the 50, it's Keener. And finding Davis here, the tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a red skin first down. Well, C.D., a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Keenum. And he hits the tight end, it's Davis. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Keenum now to throw. He's got Thompson here, complete. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be fourth down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. Hopkins' kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Rosen and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 27. This is Kenyon Drake, the fourth year man from Alabama. And not a whole lot doing there as so he'll get it up to about the 28 yard line. It was Jonathan Bostick there on the stop. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. On second and nine, Rosen. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. 
you have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Third and long here for Rosen. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. On fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They start the drive with Peterson. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to pump the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. Second and five now. Keenum. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Shotgun snap for Keenan. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Coverage that time by Bobby McCain. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Tressway now. On for his second punt, and remember, his first one was blocked. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. And yeah, this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they? get that little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Here's Matt Hawk now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. A look at Washington as they come onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, 
you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. He's going to air one out. And that's caught inside the 30. A huge play there for Washington. 51 yards. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. On first down, Thompson. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Let's go defense. Let's go defense. To Thompson on the draw. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. From the gun on third down, Keenum. Open man is Quinn able to connect. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. They'll run with Peterson. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? On second and goal, Keenum. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Keenum now on third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And based on my math, They've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So another good job defensively because they've allowed three trips into the red zone, but only the two field goals. Yeah, that's the bend but don't break, isn't it? And they really didn't get broken at all because if you're running off the field having allowed of two field goals and three trips in the red zone, you've actually come out ahead. Yeah, flip it over to the other side. The offense, they'll hope to cash in for six next trip. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Rosen and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27th. 
if you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in the cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. On third down, Rosen. And that is incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Miami. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that were happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Shotgun handoff to Thompson. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Set the tone, defense. Set the tone, defense. Let's go. Slip, slip. A shotgun snap for Keenan. Open man, it's Vernon Davis. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Bobby McCain here, the one who brings him down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. False start penalty, certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. He's not gonna get me. Out of the gun, Keenum. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, and that'll make it third down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Throwing his Keenum on third down. Got a man, that's Quinn. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Might want to remember that third down play, 37 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired on. That's a big game. They'll run on first down. Thompson. 
And credit the tackle to Taco. Taco Charlton with a stop. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On second down, it's Thompson. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Coverage that time by Bobby McCain. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, has still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll run with Drake, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys and continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's Matt Hawk now. He's been terrific so far. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Keenum and the Redskins now going to come up first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing now is Keenum. Going for the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. 
to the air on second down. It's Keenum. And his throw here is incomplete. He was trying to get it there to Vernon Davis, the tight end. And it's third down. All right, that one felt incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. It's caught by Davis. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Come on. Back to the ground. This time it's Peterson. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. And the tackle there will go to Charles Harris. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Here's Tressway now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And that had far too much air under it. It's out of the back of the end zone. And the football will come out to the 20-yard line. And out come the Dolphins now. now. If you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Rosen will throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before it's taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. The catch is like that. That's what the Dolphins envisioned when they took Kosicki high in the second round a season ago. He did have 22 catches as a rookie, but did not find the end zone. Certainly feels more comfortable wearing number 88, his old college number, after sporting 86 as a rookie. Now Drake. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On second and seven, Rosen. Now a short one to Gesicki. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins' 44-yard line. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Gesicki, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. 
An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. Rose into his tight end, Gesicki. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession there, and you'd have to say it's not like him to come up short on a kick like that. Yeah, and it's real easy for me to say this, but anything in the 40 to 49-yard range should be pretty automatic for an NFL kicker, especially in terms of at least getting it there. So you're right. That is a surprise that this will come up short. Now it's Keenan. And down he goes. Keenan is sacked. John Jenkins. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. <laughs> to throw is Keenum. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it, when you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck, you don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. And this is a way. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Gesicki, but it's going to be second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Rosen. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's go. 
final play of the half here. It's Rosen. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting Redskins who have the lead here. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Redskins in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Rosen and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He's going to float this one deep right side. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, Kenyon Drake, he was kind of underutilized last year when Adam Gase was head coach, only seven starts. But now he's going to get a chance under new head coach Brian Flores to really showcase his talent. He certainly flashed his diverse playmaking abilities a season ago. Nine touchdowns, five through the air, and four on the ground. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. That throw good for only a couple, it brings up third down. A two-yard pickup brings up third and one. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. From the gun, it's Drake. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. From midfield now, here's Rosen. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. You got nothing. <laughs> Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. Wilson's got it complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A gain of six there on first. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On second down, it's Drake. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Let's make these babies cry. Faking the give to Drake, now Rosen. And that will be incomplete. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench, but this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. 
So now we look at the Redskins offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Hey, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. Here's Keenum. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. First down, Washington. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Keenum. That's complete to his tight end, Sprinkle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not only going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first down, Thompson. In on the stop defensively, Raekwon McMillan. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. And that time will be called here as we've got an injured Redskin down on the field. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. From the gun, it's Keenum. He's got it complete to Thompson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Keenum now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Now Thompson. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. But he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Russ in. Russ in. Throwing on second and eight. Keenum. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Keenum now to throw to Thompson on the screen. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. As an unbiased observer, 
I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make this a second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. It's a party now. It's a party now. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Out of the gun, Keenum, complete. Richardson has it. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Hopkins' kick is good. And that will push the lead up to 12-7. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. From the 27, Rosen. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Rosen completes it to Parker. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. With Devontae Parker, there was quite a bit of chatter in the offseason that the Dolphins might not pick up his fifth-year option, but they did. And one man who's certainly happy with that, quarterback Josh Rosen. It's a guy that Brian Flores, head coach in Miami, once around and in that locker room. On second down now, it's Drake. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. 
They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins' 29-yard line. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Watch QB drop. Watch QB drop. Running from the shotgun with Dre. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. From the gun, it's Rosen. He dumps it off to Dre. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Keenum and the Redskins now going to come up first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing now is Keenum. It's caught by Davis. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. To throw is Keenan. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Come on, come on, From the 50, it's Keenan. And finding Davis here, the tight end. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march off another 15 against your squad. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Following the penalty, it's Peterson. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. 
Charles Harris. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down on the carry, Thompson. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy, couldn't get. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Taco Charlton coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that now makes this a 15 to 7 game. So yet another field goal to end the drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Second and 10 now from the 27. It's our time. It's our time. Oh, yes. Now Rosen. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double triple. routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. On third down, Rosen. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Montez Sweat with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Here's Matt Hawk now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. But both teams practice this situation, and this time the guys on offense won, and in a very nice way. 
What a run from that position on their own goal line. Gave him some good breathing room. I wonder now, do you still stack the line of scrimmage or do you play normal defense? They may have backed him off with that run. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll run with Thompson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game, you're trying to run it up on your friend. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here comes a big one. As this crowd gets up, making some noise. It's third and short. A tenth carry now for Peterson. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Let's go. Let's go. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Peterson. There to make the stop was John Jenkins. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. And now they'll throw with Keenum. His throw incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. To throw is Keenum. And he hits the tight end. It's Davis. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Field goals aren't going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice gain, get some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. On second down, it's Drake. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Yeah, let's go second. They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. And this is caught. It's Parker. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. 
always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. The Dolphins on third down. Just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This is third and 11. He'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Two huge plays there down the stretch. The sack on second down. Now they force the incompletion. That's going to lead to a do or die fourth down. And they look like they've got the confidence right now that no matter what gets thrown against them, whatever play gets run, they have the ability to shut it down. They're just brimming with it right now. They'll try and throw for it with Rosen. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Redskins will take control of the football in great field position. it to Davis. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. Yeah, another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. Throwing again on second down. Keenum, and he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. From 17 yards out, and the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face, and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So Josh Rosen in the offense. Down by 15. A little over a minute and a half remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. First down, it's Rosen. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. So now the story changes. Trailing in this one now. And time, a huge factor. They need two touchdowns and at least one two-point conversion mixed in there as well. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And here he'll be brought down a little you shy of the 35 at the 36. Uh -huh. 
Rosen saying, let's go, guys, faster. Clock is running here. To throw again on second down. Rosen, oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 21. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Rosen on first down. And he hits Drake. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Looking to throw again on second down. Rosen. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards it's third and very long out of the gun here's josh rosen he's gonna let it fly and that is incomplete 16 seconds now on the clock try to get it all back with one big shot right there but even if successful that doesn't get them all the way back to where they need to be can't totally abandon throwing the ball underneath as well all right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're going on fourth down. Rosen. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Redskins defense going to take over on the turnover on downs. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. To his knee goes Keenum, and that should be the ball game. So hail to the Redskins as they get the victory here. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. And with that, we sign off from Miami.